Joining us now is Martin Fletcher, our former longtime Mideast correspondent. Those two hostages released today happen to be members of his family. Martin, thank you for joining us. I actually want to start right here with this photo that has been seen around the world now. Martin, when you see that photo, what do you think? How tired they look, exhausted. Look at those eyes. I mean, <clears throat> teenager Natalie and Judith. I'm, it just, it's, 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 how, it's heartbreaking, but they're free and they're safe. And the question is, what traumatic damage has been done? Take me inside the family. How, how did you guys find out? How was it circulated? Were relatives calling each other? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that they, I'd seen the pictures. I didn't realize they were the, they, they were the family. Yeah, suddenly I got a call only yesterday <clears throat> saying that who they were. And, um, and I've got to say that now the family is celebrating, obviously, because the, the fear was that maybe there was some kind of physical damage to them. We don't know yet what really happened. But I've got to say one thing. Family is celebrating. I know this sounds incredible. There's another family member who's hostage in Gaza, too. One family member was buried today, killed in the same attack, and another one is still hostage. So This is know, all the same family. All the same family. And this is the story of the families in that part of southern Israel, because there was a certain group, kind of people, who went to live there in the first place. And they're all tightly, tightly interlinked. I mean, there's other members. You know, this is our family. Other families suffered a lot worse. And, Martin, do you have any idea why these two were released? I don't. I don't. I mean, it could be, it could be a matter of publicity. It could be the fact that somebody had to be released because, because of President Biden's speech. Hamas responded in some way. Why... These two, from my family, it's, I don't know, a miracle. We're almost at the two-week mark, and, and it has to have been torture, and still is torture for the families of these hostage victims. Of, of course it is, and it will continue for a long time. And I think that the drama and the, the, the tortuousness of it is just beginning. It's bad enough to be a hostage. But when the ground invasion starts, Israel's going to have, yes, a priority to save the hostages, but a bigger priority is going to be to win the war. And we know from Hamas is what we know from Hamas. So they, they, they were told um, the difficult hostages kill them. The rest will become human shields. So at best, the hostages inside Gaza today will become human shields. We just got back there, and every time there was a, a rocket boom, the Iron Dome would go off. You, you sort of flinch. I have to think for these family members who still have hostages in Gaza, every time they hear a boom, they're thinking something different. Well, you know, they've, <clears throat> they've lived with that not the hostage situation, but the booms and the attacks uh, for decades. I have one friend who lives down there, and I was with, walking with her and her kibbutz, and she said, do you hear that? And I said, no, what's that? And you know what it was? It was Hamas under the ground digging tunnels inside the kibbutz. But now knowing their family members are in Gaza and the bombing continues. Even worse, even worse. I mean, it must be hell on earth for the hostages there. And, the, and for the families, and there's so many families like this. Martin, do you think we see more hostages be released in the days to come? Hope so. Potentially, this could be the beginning of a release. You know, there was talk about swapping um, um, women and children hostages in Gaza for women and children pr uh, held as security prisoners in Israeli jails. There's about 30 women and there's about 130 Palestinian minors in Israeli jails. So, yeah, there could be a hostage swap, but we don't know what's behind it. But one thing I'm pretty sure of is in, the, in this area of the world, nobody does something for nothing. Martin, when you get a chance to speak to your relatives, these two women, what are you going to tell them? I just hope the remaining hostages come out. Thank God you're okay. Okay. Martin Fletcher for a smart mix. Thank you, Tom. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.